All right, we <laughs> we're we're finally back. Holy crap! All right, it has been a couple days since I've recorded. Not that it's any different for the people watching here, um, but I'm back. We are back in New York. We know Krang has taken over uh, with his men and men from Dimension X, all sorts of people. So we are. We are back in New York, though. We are no longer back in that Dimension Y area. But what will we find? My guess is not normal New York. That would be my guess, so... At least we're all alive, we're together, we're moving. I, I plan... I, I, you know what, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game here. I'm guessing uh, I'll probably... Ooh, look at that thing! Alright, we got a, got a Tatsu Dragon. That, uh, that is a very specific type of dragon, obviously. Uh, ooh, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's... We can kill this guy. I think we can do it. Uh, just, uh, Raph still got a bunch of magic, so that's good. Uh, oh, good, I don't care for anybody. Uh, Mikey's got this, so let's at least heal him. Um, so yeah, I'll probably beat the game in this, in this setting, at least. Not this episode, not this part of the recording. <laughs> let's let's revive Leo, so he at least gets experience. Um, yeah, so I'll probably beat it tonight, not in this setting, or not this. <laughs> God damn it! I'm, I'm already off to a great start here, right? Um, not in this part. So I don't know how many parts it'll be yet, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna power through here. We can do it. So all right, we need to get. We're here in New York. We need to get back to our our home, our lair. So we're going to 11th and Bleecker. That's where we're headed. Make sure uh, Splinter and uh, Casey and April and Shadow are all okay. And we'll just fight enemies the whole way there. Um, let's try to see if we can escape. Them. Nice. Alright, good. Um, let's, let's actually heal here. He's got nothing to heal with. We're almost there. Let's just we'll power through. We'll make it there. Um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, fighting enemies the whole way there. I promised Hatsu Dragons are not the only things we face. Here we go, we get some Punk Frogs. So those are something else that we get to fight. Uh, a little different usage of the, the name Punk, punk Frogs here, but that's alright. Uh, let's try to kill this frog first. Uh, meditate, no. Because the other one's blind, so we want to kill this one first. Jesus. Kill him! Come on, Mikey! Alright, let's do an attack, Leo. Oh, what? Still died? That's pretty weak. Alright. We're gonna make it to the lair. It's gonna happen. Come on, kill him. There we go. Slash him. He's blind! Don't hit me! Alright, good. See, we're totally gonna survive. No problem. <laughs> All the confidence in the world. It's not like I've died in this playthrough already or anything. <coughs> anyway, moving on. So, I don't know how many people are going to... Again, I still don't know how many people are actually going to be watching this playthrough. But if you've stuck with me through at least till this point, then hats off to you. I appreciate I appreciate people actually watching it. Um, so... Figured I'd just throw that out there and say it. So look, they're all alive. Before we talk to them, let's heal, though. Because we're going to get into a good old talking portion here. So, everyone get prepare themselves for that. So here we go. Hey, guys. My sons, you're home. Yeah, we made it. Good reunion. You're home, you're home. I knew you'd make it back home. I didn't. I had no idea where you guys were. Casey, don't say that. I'm I'm just so, so happy to see you all back and safe. We're all happy to see all of you too, but it doesn't seem like we're all that safe. You are certainly right, Leonardo. You can see the damage and destruction here. What all do you know about our situation? We saw a lot on our journey. Man, Leo and Splinter's voices are similar. Um, we know that a warlord named Krang is behind all of this and looking to take over our dimension. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time. We took we he took some war machine is going to use it to change the world's atmosphere. Or terraform, which I don't think I used that term throughout this whole whole playthrough, which I don't know why, but uh, yeah, drilling to the core of the earth. Yeah. 
You do have Mikey, you're Donnie. Well, I don't... Why don't we just follow the path of destruction? That might lead us to where they started drilling. Yeah, and we can go out and it's pretty obvious there's a path of destruction leading right towards the old foot headquarters. So, we know where to start our search, but something else we need to think about is how we plan on getting into this war machine when we find it. Yeah, I doubt Krang would just leave the doors open for us. I say we blast our way in. With what? We don't have any explosives. I wouldn't imagine we'd, have, we'd need something pretty heavy duty to blow in a hole into a Krang war machine. Technodrome. What? Saying Krang's war machine is a bit of a mouthful. I'm naming it the Technodrome. Um, okay, fine. Uh, where do we find an explosion to just damage a, a Technodrome? Well, we need the right materials, or we just need the materials. I think we can make a pretty strong plastic explosive here in my lab, if I had the right things. What would you need, Donnie? I guess the least number of materials I would need would be a, some plasticizer and some... Oh, Jesus. Um, and penta... Penta... Uh, erythritol. Penta erythritol? Penta erythritol. Some penta erythritol te te tetra... Tetranitrate. Jesus. You think med you think medical background would be able to prepare me for chemical names, but I always mess them up. Yeah, of course. It seems so obvious now that you say it. In English, Donnie. They're both chemicals. Plasticizer is used in additive in many plastics, and that word, or P-E-T-N, is a volatile compound that may be hard to find. Well, I used to work at the news station. They had lots of chemicals up on the upper floor in the storage area. You might find some plastic stuff there. You need a key card to get up there, but lucky for us, I never returned mine after I got fired. It should still be in my apartment still. And Baxter Stockman's lab had a ton of weird-looking chemicals in it. You may find that pen <laughs> pentaethereal adamantium there. <laughs> Mikey getting it wrong. That's true. It's probably our best shot to search those places. Then we got a plan. But we don't have much time, so we might need to split into two groups. Then we can meet back here and Donnie can make the explosives. So also, side note, um, I, I had to Google <laughs> Google bomb explosive ingredients. So that was good. Um, <laughs> hopefully that Google search doesn't come back to bite me and bite me in the ass. But um, I actually Google searched that in order to figure out, well, what would we need to find for explosives? So basically... Splinter and, and Casey are jumping in here too. They're like, well, you can't have all the fun. There's no do, no good hanging out here, so they're gonna go. So we got uh, Casey's, Gago's, Stockman's Lab, along with those two, and then Splinter, Raph, and Mikey are going to April's, and then the news station. And April, you gotta stay here. Alright, come back safe. We will, April, I promise. Let's get going. Shorten up, abbreviated the end of that conversation. Alright, meet back here soon. So we get to start as Leo, Donnie, and Casey. Casey only a little bit higher level than us. He is basically Raph. Just not quite as good. Um, <laughs> he is a little bit higher level, so he'll be able to hit pretty hard. But basically Raph with not, the, not as good of abilities. So we can still go back and the other group is gone. Um, which, shockingly, we will be them later. So we are... are these two, we are going over to Baxter's lab, I believe, was was our goal destination. We're looking for some of that P-E-T-M that, you know, that I embarrassingly could not pronounce. Don't judge me too harshly, everyone. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, let's beaver them. I don't even remember what... I just looked at his stuff and I don't remember what Casey has. Hopefully something good. Let's see here, Casey. What do we got? Uh, Berserk. Let's do that. Three random foe hits. I think that's probably his most powerful attack. So that's one of the abilities that Raph can learn. I just haven't learned it yet. Um, probably won't. I'm probably gonna actually get like that claw slash ability first. Um, it takes like ten whole skill points. Probably, so I probably won't even learn it for a little bit. But that ability is definitely, you know, semi overpowered. So strong attack. Yeah, I'll kill him. So. I tried balancing the abilities as best I could. Goongala! Alright, got that in there somewhere. It's uh, Casey's... It was the very first word he said in a in a Turtle comic. So we were going not to the Foot HQ, that's where the Technodrome is. We we're going to not the... Not the not the business, we're going to Industrial. Because we're going to 
Going to Stockman's lab, so that's really good. Goongalow was the first thing that Casey ever said in the Turtles comic, so I had that be one of his battle victory slogans. I don't know if people have been reading those as they've been playing, haven't been reading them off. We got new mousers here! Alright! Sweet! Good old new mousers. Let's fever them. Miss half the time like he tends to, so that's good. Casey's getting rocked. Let's, uh, let's heal Casey at least. And does he have anything that just hits everybody? No, nope, we'll do the again. Maybe kill somebody. Nope. We're not. We're not. Actually, that hits pretty hard. Let's uh, do again. We're gonna run out of magic before we uh, even get to you know, the lab here. Not that there's a boss or anything there. <laughs> there might be a boss there. <laughs> um, strong attack. Maybe that's going. All right, good. So we are gonna find, hopefully, find some sort of chemical that we can use here. Uh, and you can see that the sky. We're kind of in a dusk setting. Um, whenever we're outside, now that the world's been kind of destroyed. Can we just run from these guys? Um, kind of a nod to the original cartoon in the later seasons of the Turtles cartoon. Oh, there we go. Um, and I think I can even read these things. Several textbooks, awesome. Um, oh, and Utrum Crystal found. We already found one of those. I will use that when we get back to the lair. So let's save, and hey look, Baxter's back. Do we have to fight him again? Stockman! You? How are you here? I thought you were all killed and teleported away. It does not matter. You are too late anyway. There's no way you will be able to stop the Krang from taking over. Why are you doing this? Why are you helping them? You know by taking over that Krang will be killing all other life on Earth. And that includes you. The Foot and myself have our own reasons for helping Krang. You, they can provide us with power and resources. And you don't know what you're talking about. Krang will be killing you, but we are going to survive and flourish. You're wrong. You're wrong. They're working on changing the Earth's atmosphere with none of us will survive, and that includes you. I'm not going to let you trick me, uh, but I do know that it'll be my duty to take care of you, so get ready to face my newest invention in Chrome Dome! Obscure, another turtle character. Since all of you came back through that device, then I must go and make sure none of your friends will join you. Goodbye! And he flies away again. Wait, I have a stock with me! Makes can't be that tough. Bring it on. Yeah. Famous last words there, Casey. Oh, I didn't even heal ahead of time. Well, don't die before I can heal. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. At least we got heal two, cure two. That'll heal up everyone pretty well, I think. And what do we got here? We want to weapon break him, I think. Or miss. Or just miss him. Also, also an option. Oh, man, Casey, that sucks. Oh good, we're confused. Confusion removed when he gets hit, so that works. Let's just cleaver. I need to kill these mousers, they're actually doing damage to me. Or just, again, keep missing. Also an option. Always a good option, just to not hit your enemy. And yeah, they was almost out of magic stuff. Alright, we can't do that again. Let's do Berserk and maybe we'll kill some of these mousers. Just hit everybody. We're gonna die if we don't kill those muscles. Let's do Cleaver one more time, maybe that'll kill him. Yes? Yes! Nice. Fantastic. Um. Sneakani. Nice. Let's use our. We got nothing else good. Let's do on our break here, I guess. Let's kind of alternate those back and forth for Casey. Oh, good. We're all confused. At least hit the right person. That'd be nice. Man, Jesus, they, these enemies must have higher evade than I remember, or think that they do. I uh, have to heal. Because those two are confused, and can't heal Donnie when, uh, heal with Donnie when he's confused. Dude! Almost dead, almost dead. Let's use a larger healing. How much that heal by? Oh, a whole bunch, good. Um, you are almost out of crap here. Let's armor break you again. Come on, we need to get Donnie back into here. Alright, 
you're stepping in here. Let's dispel Donnie. Let's heal Leo. And now Donnie will be back up, but we'll probably get hit by the time first time. Yeah, so let's now heal. He hits pretty hard, but now that we got rid of those monsters, I think we're going to be okay as long as we don't get all confused for a super long period of time. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem here. Let's get a Reiki Energy Potion on Leo. So we can Cleaver again? It's not really hitting him that hard, actually. Right? Like 500, so. Unfortunately, everybody in this group doesn't have any one giant hit, like uh, Raph tends to. Um, heal? No, heal too. Yeah, I'm okay. That'll get rid of confusion, right? Nice. Almost made the mistake of just healing regular again. That would have been a waste. Right, we'll just keep doing that with these two. Keep it. We're doing just fine. Until they all get confused. <laughs> And as long as they, while they're confused, they're at least hitting Chrome Dome, I think we're in pretty good shape. This music's sweet. I like the boss music that's selected for this game. I believe it's just the default boss music from Turtles of Time, so... Oh, Casey! Donnie, you asshole. I'm <laughs> going and killing Casey. Get unconfused already. Come on. This is how we're going to lose. Ooh, I don't want to die again. I just keep embarrassing myself. Donnie, come on, dude. Um, I thought when I was getting hit, that was supposed to be a... Man, he's dead. Awesome! <laughs> I did save right before this, right? Good. Good, at least again, showing my video game prowess in losing in my own game. So that's always comforting. Alright. Um... <sighs> There's no point in you watching this whole battle. You know what? You get the gist of it. So through the magic of editing, we're going to have a defeated enemy. And... Poof! Yeah. Going to beat him. It's going to happen this time. Using all my items. <laughs> We've almost died a, a third time. But we're going to do it. It's going to happen. I feel, I feel borderline optimistic for some reason. What the fuck, Leo? Oh my god. <laughs> hey! Jesus. Alright. Lesson learned. Uh, that boss is much more of a pain than I thought he was. So, alright. Now that we're back to actually recording, um, look, we can go back to the teleporter and save him and st I don't don't care anymore. I'm already tired and exhausted from having that battle. Hey look! This looks like what we're looking for. Let's grab it and head back to the lair. Cool! The Penoptitenta Bomb of Farlene! We got it! We're saving! This will be the end of the part. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back uh, literally... You know what? I'll cut out going back to the, to the lair. We'll just be back at the lair because that's all we're doing. So uh, the part of uh, the next part will be back at the lair so I will... See you then. See you next time. Bye-bye.